Shepard Smith with a Fox News update, and we're reacting to what you're probably seeing on your phone right now, and that is TMZ is reporting that the singer Demi Lovato has been taken to the hospital after a reported heroin overdose. TMZ citing a source who says that Lovato was transported from a home in Hollywood Hills just before noon Pacific time today and right now is being treated. So for those of you watching us live, it's two minutes after one o'clock in the afternoon on the West Coast. Uh, so this happened about an hour ago from our live uh, Facebook watch update here from Fox News. And, you know, you think about all the problems Demi Lovato has had over the years. She's been fighting substance problems for six years. She had lived for a long time, like six years, uh, sober from cocaine and had spent a time in a sober living home. But any of you who are familiar with Demi Lovato know she has this new song, Sober, that came out last month. And in it, one of the lines is, Mama, I'm so sorry I'm not sober anymore. And Daddy, please forgive me for the drinks spilled on the floor. Uh, no, no mention of heroin there. And again, Fox News can't confirm this. We're reacting to what TMZ is reporting, but our Trace Gallagher is out on the West Coast with these reports that Demi Lovato has fallen off the wagon. Trace, what do we know? We're hearing, Chef, that she was taken from her Hollywood Hills home to a hospital. Again, we're the same boat. We can't really confirm this. We do know that Demi Lovato, uh, as you just said, released that song, Sober, talking about the fact that she had fallen off the wagon. Anybody who knows Demi Lovato knows that she was a huge Disney star in the show, Sunny with a Chance. She went on. Uh, you know, you talk to the experts who will say that Demi Lovato has one of the biggest voices in Hollywood. Huge voice, huge talent, huge drug problem. In fact, I want to read you something that she wrote back in 2013. She says, and I'm quoting here, I couldn't go 30 minutes to an hour without cocaine, and I would bring it on airplanes. She was telling this to Access Hollywood, and she would say, I would smuggle it basically and just wait until everyone in first class would go to sleep, and I would do it right there. I'd sneak to the bathroom, and I'd do it. That's how difficult it got, and that was even with somebody with me. That was Demi Lovato back in 2013. In 2014, Demi Lovato came out after the death of Philip Seymour Hoffman, and she was devastated, saying that more money, more research, more needs to be done to, to really handle. Philip Seymour Hoffman, of course, died of a drug overdose. More needs to be done in the wake of what she called a disease, saying people need to realize this is a disease. It needs to be taken seriously. A and Demi Lovato was saying that this is an all-hands-on-deck problem. And if you look across the country at the opioid crisis, Shep. Look at all of these states in the South. The opioid crisis is at really critical levels now, and Demi Lovato was kind of on the front end of that in 2014, saying it's bad, it's a disease. I want to say from TMZ, saying Demi was scheduled to go on the road this week. Uh, she has a show scheduled in Atlantic City, but our sources say that she has been struggling. She went to rehab. She was clean and sober for six years. And apparently, recently, she fell off the wagon, and now the reports are that she has been taken from her Hollywood Hills home to a hospital here in Los Angeles, suffering a heroin overdose, says TMZ. She's being treated. We do not know her condition. We're continuing to follow this breaking news along with you. You know, I Chef. just wonder if they were able to get Narcan to her on time or whatever is necessary there. Yeah, I mean, that's the big question is what the timing is here. I mean, the, the closest hospital, if we had a map, we could tell you. But, you know, the Hollywood Hills, right now you're at midday, so traffic isn't bad. So, you know, with an ambulance, you can get to the hospital in time. We have not heard any reports about her condition at all. You know the paparazzi are staked outside the hospital. They have been through this drill many times before with many celebrities in Southern California. So it's only a matter of time before we find out exactly what her condition was when she she went in. Somebody got a picture of her going in the hospital, whether she was, you know, was on a respirator. It remains unclear right now. But yeah, can you get her the drugs in time to, to counteract this? That's the big question we're all waiting on right now. Shep. You know, it's, it's one of those times there's to, it's worth <laughs> talking about how to help a heroin addict. You know, there are so many programs out there. And if you Google just that sentence, how to help a heroin addict, there are so many different recommendations from, from, uh, from government agencies and from helplines, but the main thing is if you don't confront and you don't try to get help, the end can come quickly and, and in a very ugly way. Trace, if there's a worse problem across Appalachia uh, and, uh, and other areas around it, 
uh, up into the northeast in rural towns, a worse a worse problem than mm -hmm. the, the opioid epidemic and heroin included. I, I, I don't know what it is. You don't, and Shep, what you have to realize is the reason the problem is so bad is because the dosage is so small. I mean, it's not like cocaine where you know you, you, you do it in, you know, whatever, it's grams or, or whatever the, the, the dosage is. But in the opioid crisis, the reason it's so bad is because the opioids are so powerful and so strong that people take just a minute amount of this stuff, and it is oftentimes enough to kill you, to stop your heart, to, you know, to, to hurt your vital organs. And that's the big factor that people don't realize is that the drugs now are being produced in, in such quantities and such purity that even the smallest of doses that you would never think would give you the reaction that you see in the cases of Philip Seymour Hoffman. We don't know what Demi Lovato's case is, but in these cases, you don't quite realize that it's minute amounts of these drugs that are killing people, and they just don't realize when you're shooting heroin or, or doing these other opioids exactly what you're doing to your body. And, and, and once you're in. Uh, it's so hard to get off. Trace, thank you so much. Appreciate it. So here's yep. what we have. The reporting is from TMZ. Uh, it reported just about 10 minutes ago as we report live now at eight minutes past one o'clock on the West Coast, eight minutes past four on the East Coast. Demi Lovato taken to a Los Angeles hospital after uh, a heroin overdose taken from her home there in the Los Angeles area. There is no update on her condition. Uh, the TMZ is quoting law enforcement sources uh, and who say that this was an overdose. Again, Fox News hasn't confirmed, but, but here's a definite. The government offers a website and help for matters like this. The Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, here is the hotline number, 1-800-662-HELP, 1-800-662-4357. If you have a heroin problem, someone you know has a heroin problem, someone you know has an opioid addiction, and you don't want to lose them or yourself, Give the line a call. It's a government organization, SAMHSA.gov, or the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration hotline, 1-800-662-HELP, or Google, Help for Heroin Addicts. Updates throughout the afternoon on this story and the rest of the day's top news. This has been a Fox News update. I'm Shepard Smith on Fox News Watch.